All right, I've been meaning to watch these, review them for quite a while. They made 13 movies with Schoolgirl Report in the title. This is volume one. Let's check it out. Otherwise known as What Parents Don't Think Is Possible. Basically, we have some girls here talking about sexual things. And you can read it there. This film is based on the sexual reports, conducting surveys. A lot of it is bullshit, though. Our film starts with a uh, school field trip. All these young ladies uh, getting off a bus. That's Renate. He seems to have a thing for the bus driver. So she sneaks away from the other girls and goes back on the bus to find the bus driver kind of napping in the back. Renate, was willst du denn hier? Well, the teacher went looking for her, found her on the bus, and she's busted. Renate! Wie konnten Sie sich nur mit diesem Busfahrer einlassen? Mit einem Menschen, den Sie überhaupt nicht kennen. But she makes no apologies. Seit einem halben Jahr. Renate, lieben Sie denn diesen Mann? Es muss ja nicht gleich die große Liebe sein, wenn irgendwann zwei zusammen schlafen wollen. Aber Kind, wissen Sie, was Sie da sagen? So this parent council gets together and the head of the school wants to expel her. But one guy speaks up for the girls and says, No. These kids are more mature than we were and they practice sex and blah blah blah. Turns out he has done some surveys and interviews himself. He's going to share that information with them. These two girls are going into a church. Because this one here put on a sexy dress and wants to seduce the priest. She tells him some lurid tales of her sexual prowess. But our priest isn't buying it. He doesn't believe one word. Here we meet Susie. Well, she's not doing so well in school, so her parents hired a tutor. She really likes her tutor. Basically, the guy in that parents' council is telling stories that he's learned from uh, all his interviews and surveys. And then we see them played out. I can't show you much more of this one. Interspersed throughout this film are actual on-the-street interviews. According to the director, half of the interviews were real and half of them were staged. Here we got some girls trying on some outfits. Talking about boys. Or men in this case. This is one of those girls. She goes back home and, uh, well, let's just say she's alone. But then her mother's going to walk in. More interviews of the man on the street asking about people's sexual practices. This is Michelle. Talk about how she lost her virginity. Can't show you much of that either. These three ladies are at a pool and they want to strip in front of the, uh, I don't know if he's a lifeguard or what. Wir 
and he's going to come yell at them for being topless. He lets them come back that night, all three of them, although one of them leaves, to go swimming. They skinny dip and pull him in. You can use your imagination to what happens next. One of the girls feels guilty about it. Tells her mother she thinks she might be pregnant. And we learned the guy who got arrested and did some jail time. Here we have a couple of guys who are virgins and they're going to meet some girls who they believe are experienced. But the girls are virgins too. So anyway, they want the girls to get dressed first. And that's exactly what the girls are going to do. And they all do it. Hairy armpits and all. More interviews on the street. This girl's not having sex right now because she admits to having the clap. And here we meet Marlene. She stayed behind when all the other girls went to shower because she has a thing for the coach. She yeah. makes a move on him. <laughs> now he turns her away, but she follows him in there. And I can't show you much more. Here we meet two women. The one on the left is named Erm. Mm, I'm good. She's wondering about losing her virginity to Alex. Axel. Her friend tells a story about uh, how she went to visit her female friend and the girl's dad attacked her. The guy did not rape her, but then she went away to some school somewhere where she learned ballet and she met another girl named Ingrid. She ends up having a lesbian affair with Ingrid and another woman. There's a threesome. After her threesome with women, she went for a guy named Bert. But Bert was a flop. Thankful when she was babysitting, she ended up with this guy who was a much more experienced man and gave her a better experience. Anyway, back to the parents' council. They're all debating now. It seems like he's won them all over. So they decide to vote on whether or not Renate should be expelled or stay. And it's overwhelming support for Renate. In spite of sleeping with the bus driver, she's going to stay in school. So starts the schoolgirl report films. All right. If you've seen uh, my channel, some of the videos I show... I often show a lot of these 70s uh, jiggle and giggle movies from 
overseas. Um, and you've seen a lot of movies that were put out by private screenings, a videotape company in the, in the late 80s. And uh, they put out a lot of movies um, uh, from the Schoolgirl Report series. There's 13 of these movies, and I think they put out five or six of them in English versions. And I have all those. I also have all of the um, German versions. The only way they're available on DVD is in the German soundtrack. Um, so that's what we got here. This is I, I decided I'm going to start reviewing these, too. This was number one. Uh, it's subtitled, What Parents Don't Think Is Possible, Schoolgirl Report 1. Now... I never seen this before until today, and uh, it's in German, so we're watching with the subtitles there. This movie, unlike some of the later ones, actually I think tried to pass itself off as some sort of almost legitimate type film. Um, it's a mockumentary, as, as you will. Although they seem to get foolisher, foolish, or I don't know, whatever they get, they get more foolish as time goes along in the subsequent films, which I am looking forward to too. Anyway, basically, what these movies are are a reason to show um, women getting naked and various sexual interludes and that sort of thing. Now, it says schoolgirl report, but obviously these are all adult women. Um, I think all these movies were uh, re um, directed by a guy named Ernst Hofbauer, who did a lot of these titty movies. Uh, in Germany. I've, I've reviewed a lot of his stuff, so God bless him for that, right? Uh, and as usual, in most of these movies, in fact, for all these movies, the women are just absolutely bosomy, beautiful. They're just, wow, he, he got the cream of the crop here. Um, I don't know what else. If you're a pervert, these are the films for you. Um, again, they're only available in this uh, PAL DVD format. There's a couple of them that are have received some... Um, English uh, DVD reviews like Naughty Coeds, I think, is one, and uh, Campus Pussycats, which are different versions of these here. Of course, you can still find the uh, VHS versions of some of these too. Um, there's one uh, under the title um, Lucifer's Angels, which I'll, I'll get to that too. I think that's uh, part seven actually, but Sweet Young Trouble is another one. I think that was part 13. So anyway, uh, this movie here, it started off, we saw a woman who, are, who got off the bus, ended up going back on the bus, sleeping with a bus driver, then she almost got expelled from school for it, and then this researcher gives all his stories about girls and stuff, and his surveys and interviews and stuff, and basically convinces the board to keep the girl in school. There you go. Anyway, Schoolgirl Report 1, if you're looking for nudity, you're going to find tons and tons of it in this film, as well as the other ones, which I'll get to down the road as well, so... That's really what we watch these movies for, is the beautiful women. So anyway, check it out. It, uh, I don't know how you pronounce it. Uh, they're all called the Schulmachten Sch 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 Report, something or other. I don't know. Check it out on IMDb. Let me know what you think about these films, if anybody has seen this crap besides me. Um, I think they're available. I can leave a link down below. Uh, well, I guess we'll find out for Amazon. These things are getting a little pricey now. You might want to pay, end up paying like 20 25, 30, even 40 bucks uh, for each one of these. I'm happy to have them in my collection. So check it out. Leave some comments down below. It's the Schoolgirl Report, number one. Watch it. Bye.